Hey guys, this is JJ and welcome to my weekly training vlog for the week of 13th of July. So I'm gonna be really honest with you guys and just say that this was not that good a week. Just in general, I didn't really feel strong and that's it. That's really it. Like, I don't really have any reasons why I didn't really feel strong. Maybe I was a bit under-recovered, but yeah. So... On my day one, I did squats, and this is my top single of 177.5 kilos, which moved really, really, really slow. I can't really remember the last time I've moved the weight this slowly, and it's pretty weird because it's only 2.5 kilos more than my top single from last week, moving at about 1.5 more RPE. So I've spoken previously about how in this program that I'm running at the moment, we're not really super focused about the top single but rather we're looking to do um, the back offs really well so this is uh, 160 by 4 but I still think that moving the top single that slowly still kind of set the tone for the session and maybe even the week and so I was feeling a bit meh by the, by the end of it um, yeah so the only thing that I will say that was good was that this one the important part which is the 160 by 4 which is the work sets uh, for 4 by 4 was actually really really well executed and the speed was actually really good so I finished at about 7.5 RPE which would mean that I could, I could have comfortably done maybe about 2 more reps and which is a really good place to be because next week I'll be doing 160 for 5 and trying to hit some volume um, PRs so the other positive about day one was I hit an all-time bench PB of 130 kilos and this was uh, this is two and a half more than my competition max and it moved at an RPE of maybe eight and that's really 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 positive because I think that uh, the, given how everything has gone um, I, I mean at least one of my lifts are moving up and I wouldn't even be that critical I would just say that my lifts are all of them are moving up it's just that the way I've executed the singles on the squat um, just made me feel kind of uh, demotivated but yeah so again back downs are the important part of this training program so we move on to do 122.5 for fours and I finish that at around 8.5 RPE. So moving on to day 2 on a Tuesday. Um, I think this is also another positive that I want to pick out from an otherwise kind of, um, kind of lackluster kind of week. Which is my 120 kilos uh, top triple which moved at about 7. So given that this is the second time I'm doing this on a secondary day. I feel like the speed which it moved at was really good and it really sets a good momentum going forward and I feel like maybe in a week or two, 120 will also become a weight that I can move maybe even on the back offs or even on like a tertiary day. So very positive um, from bench press. So I did a back downs of 115 uh, for 4 at 6. Bench press is not really the focus for today so I'm just greasing the groove. So moving on to deadlifts, which is the main focus of day two. Um, I also feel like this was the other low point of the week. So if I'm being completely honest, both warm-ups for squats and deadlifts just did not feel good at all. I just felt like generally there was a lot of fear and apprehension approaching both of the top singles and it definitely showed so what I actually really really wanted to do this week was even though this was just two and a half kilos more than what I did last week I really wanted to make sure that I did the slack pull well and again I kind of messed it up again so I think what I need to do going forward would be possibly to practice pulling slack with hook grip a bit better and a bit more because that's the only identifiable difference that I can tell between my top sets and my back offs and my pause deadlift days but I still am kind of in two minds about it because pulling just rep work with hook grip just kind of sucks so I'm not even sure if I'm going that would be my first go to so I might just try one more week to pull just my top single with hook grip 
So it's the same protocol here with deadlifts as well. I'm doing back down force at 177 and a half kilos. And this is what I did for triples last week. So you can kind of generally see how the program is and what we're looking to do is actually push relative intensity by increasing the reps and keeping the overall tonnage generally the same. This was also a first time in a long while where I actually had to really get really hyped and really angry for a set and I generally don't like doing that because what that does is it actually makes you very very tired after the session. I managed to finish the deadlifts at about RP8 which is probably a good indicator of me being able to do a set of 5 with this week next week. And moving on to day 3 on Thursdays, we're doing uh, the same thing as last week, just 6 sets of 5 on squats with a top set of 150 kilos. So in general, what I'm looking for today is just really really good quality rep work. And I generally like high volume submax work because it allows you to feel out the different nuances of your technique and uh, every little um, bit of your body while still be being able to get some volume in. So I actually made a really interesting um, discovery during this session, um, basically doing what I just said, which is feeling out my technique, which is basically that I was um, so overly concerned about not being able to load my left hip that actually I was overloading my left hip and not actually pushing hard with my right leg. And so what I usually cue with squats is actually I want to feel a heavy left heel but um, in this session instead of doing that I focus on creating a strong right medial arch of the foot. And why this is important is because when you look at sort of the biomechanics of the foot if you have a pronated right foot it means that you are actually trying to shift your weight into your left side of your body. So what I'm trying to do is actually if I supinate my foot which is creating that arch, I'm actually pulling some of the load into my right hip and unloading my left adductor which has been something that has been plaguing me since uh, coming back from lockdown. So this is something that I will be carrying forward into my squats next week. And day 3 bench wasn't that great as well to be honest, I think I just haven't benched on the lower Lego bench um, for a while and I'm just not used to it because it's a bit hard and I felt like I couldn't uh, retract and depress my shoulder blades as hard um, but I think that going forward what I might do is actually do my lower, lighter days on this bench just so that I'm not too used to the softer bench that was that on the other rack which is kind of weird because one of them is a bit higher than comspec and the other is a bit lower than comspec so it's kind of like it's comspec somewhere in the middle although to be honest it shouldn't really matter because I want to be able to practice my technique and reproduce it on any sort of equipment so really no excuses I'm just practicing and just trying to do my best to feel out all the right things So moving on to day 4 on a Friday, we started off with board presses and just as I thought that I was kind of sick of board presses already and I think that it might have outlived its usefulness, I actually produced one of the better board pressing that I've done for a while. So I think the lesson to be learned here for me is that despite what you may think or what you may feel based on prior data, you should use that in conjunction with your current training data and your current training response. So I did a 135 single at 7.5 which is the fastest I've ever done that. And in general, board presses really feel heavy in my hand. But today it didn't really feel that way and I was just glad I got it done. I'm not sure how long we're keeping this variation in going forward but I'm pretty indifferent towards uh, board presses in general. It can be in or it can not be in or we can switch out for another variation. I don't really mind and I think as long as my uh, day one bench is moving good, I, yeah, I don't really mind. So we finish off the day with pause deadlifts and I think the important thing to really note about this whole training week is despite all of the negatives and all of the things that made it really really demotivating and tiring i still managed to learn something from it and i think that's the important thing i think a lot of people say that you shouldn't feel, be emotional about your training but i actually think that it's really really important that you 
do have an emotional response to your training because it shows that you care but i think that the important thing is that you shouldn't let that emotional aspect of your response um, cloud your objective judgment and what you can gain from the training so it's like go and express yourself go and cry go and do whatever you need to scream and shout but i think that the important thing is when you look back at it you're able to get useful training data that you can bring forward so yeah guys this is my training review of the week if you have any questions you can dm us on instagram or you can just put them down below so yeah if you like this style of content please don't forget to like share and subscribe it really helps us and we'll see you next time